Better late than never. That's the word from former police commissioner, now CEO of Shield Crime and Security Consultants, Mark Shields, when responding to questions surrounding the Jamaica Eye initiative. Jamaica Eye connects to closed circuit televisions, CCTV, installed in public and private infrastructure. I think it's an excellent initiative. Um, I think it's probably 10 to 15 years too late, but better late than, than never. Um, there's no doubt at all that in any country where their CCTV is being utilised, it has massive benefits. Criminals hate to be identified either by photograph, CCTV, still images, or of course fin fingerprints and DNA. But the one that everyone can look at is the image of the particular person. And they sometimes think that because they can put a mask on now or a balaclava, they're not going to be identified. But in fact, there are many other ways in which, even if the face is covered, we can still identify people that are perpetrating crime. So absolutely yes. The other thing, of course, is with Jamaica Eye, it has the ability to read the license plates on motor vehicles as well. So in the event, as you've probably seen in the past, where I think, a, for example, a taxi driver um, in his taxi knocked over a, a cop on Nutsa Boulevard, there was a big furor about that, but the vehicle was captured and within 24 hours they recovered the vehicle and I think eventually the driver gave himself up and was eventually charged with reckless driving. The Jamaica Eye Surveillance Initiative was launched in 2018. Just about 560 CCTV cameras have been installed in the island's main urban centres. It also complements the upgraded Police Emergency Control Centre, which monitors up to 2,000 CCTV cameras.